Today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! And for as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer, even if your hardware isn't prepared. And if you don't play that much, well, you can just use the hourly system for as little as 0.35 Canadian dollars. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. Hello guys, it's Shitkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Before anything, I just want to tell you that these drivers, if you're running Diablo 4, these are the drivers for you, okay? The performance is indeed better, even in older, in the, <laughs> even in older GPUs such as the RX 5700 XT, okay? I tested it and I tested it in this video, it is better. So if you're playing Diablo 4, get these drivers. But they aren't, well, they aren't that good in all scenarios and I will talk about that after the release notes. Also, I just want to add that it, it really seems that RDNA 3 architecture is indeed a pain in the ass for the driver's team, really, really hard to code for, uh, at least in the beginning, at least in the beginning, because if you don't remember, we had months where the drivers were solely for the RX 7900 series, so basically 7900 XTX and XT, I, I believe it was like three or four months where the drivers were only for that 7000 series, for those 7000 series cards. Uh, so the other cards didn't have any kind of driver updates. And now it is actually the same, but for the RX 7600 that just released like a week ago. So we had specific drivers for the 23.5.1. I mean, we had specific drivers for that card. So we have the 23.5.1 for all the other cards. And then we have a specific 23.5.1 for the RX 7600. And there are still some bugs and it uses the, the Windows Store overlay and so on. So it's, it's kind of a mess up. Uh, and now we have the 23.5.2 drivers and they are not for the RX 7600. So they support all the other cards, but the RX 7600. Yeah, RDNA 3 is definitely a pain in the ass, maybe rushed and definitely a pain in the ass for the developers, for the, the, the AMD developers that develop the drivers, not the game developers. Maybe even for the game developers, don't really know. But well, it is what it is. So we have the review of the 23.5.2 drivers, and as I say in all my videos, and my dog and my cat also say that, 23 is the year 2023, 5 is the month May, and 2 is the revision in that same month, the second revision of May. All of these drivers were released in the first um, in the 1st of June, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Still, it's a May revision, 23.5.2. So let's start with the release notes. Firstly, we have support for Diablo 4, and that's the only new support that we have, and a good one, by the way. Then we have highlights also with performance optimizations for Microsoft Olive Direct ML pipeline for Stable Diffusion 1.5 on AMD Radeon RX 7900 series graphics. Boost your performance by an average of two times in Microsoft Olive optimized direct ML performance, blah, 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 for stable diffusion 1.5 using the 23.5.2 versus the 23.5.1. And that's actually nice. I didn't know what, uh, what stable diffusion was, but it seems that stable diffusion is kind of an AI application where it's, um, where that same AI translates your text to images. So you write some text, you can tell it to, let's say, render an image of a cyborg in 2133 in the year 2133 whatever just do it and it will go grab that te grab that test grab <laughs> grab that text um, and create an AI rendered image okay that's what it does and it seems that now with these new drivers the performance of the 7900 series on that specific scenario is up to double the performance so he renders double the images in the same amount of time or the same images in half of the time which is very very good um a step in the right direction if i if i have to say so uh for amd in this scenario as for the fixed issues we obviously have no fixed issues because this driver is kind of a a placeholder for uh for other drivers to come we just support for diablo and this performance optimizations on stable diffusion for the 7900 series cards that have 
the AI accelerators, okay? And that's it. As for the known issues, they are still the same. With the high adult power has situationally been observed you when using high resolution and high refresh rate display panels on the Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs. Certain virtual reality games or applications may encounter suboptimal performance or occasional stuttering on the Raiden 7000 series GPUs once again. Application crash may be intermittently observed while playing RuneScape on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 5700 XT. Application crash or driver timeout may be observed during playback of AV1 content using DaVinci Resolve Studio and intermittent corruption may be observed after switching windows while playing Nio 2 or Neo uh, on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6800 XT. So basically we still have the same issues. The same and the most annoying ones are the high idle power for some scenarios, for some people that are mostly people that are using TVs, which is very annoying, or people using multi-monitor uh, setups. Although on multi-monitor, if you're using like two high refresh and high and high resolution displays, uh, two or three with these cards, it is normal that you have, let's say, 50 to 60 watts idle power door. It's normal because you're using two or three high resolution, high refresh rate displays. It's normal. Uh, but if you're just running one, it's not normal at all and it is definitely an issue. It should be fixed ASAP. And the second one is basically the VR performance that is very, very poor. Way worse than it should be. And it seems that someone is here. Anyway, uh, way worse than it should be and it should be, f it should be fixed ASAP as well, as fast as possible. Or as soon as possible in this case. As for my experience with these drivers, well, the experience is more or less about the same uh, because, like I told you, this is kind of a placeholder for the drivers to come. Um, and I guess that's it. Basically, better performance on Diablo 4. We have, although we do not have better performance on Modern Warfare 2 with a 6650 XT, we do have better performance with the 5700 XT, but not with the 6650 XT. I don't really know what happened but it seems that the performance is not there as it should be. We also have the better AI performance on Stable Diffusion 1.5 and that's about it. Once again, worse performance on Modern Warfare 2 on the 6650 XT, better performance on the 5700 XT, Modern Warfare and Diablo, and also Diablo 4 better performance on the 6650 XT and almost any card. That's basically it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video, leave your comment in the comment section. Once again, it is very important for you to leave the comment in the comment section. Let me know, me and us, the community, your experience with these drivers. And yeah, see you in the next one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.